Hi, this is Shruti from Informatica Technical Support. This video is regarding how a netstat command can help in port already in use error. So we used to face a common error like port already in use while starting the Informatica services in Windows machine. This is because the host is compromised or it is running a misbehaving process underneath. This can be because several malware fox into the background process and it ignores the signals. Or another reason can be the port is in closed wait state for long time because of the windows configuration for keep alive that is for 2 minutes. So the agenda of this project video is like uh, open catalina.log file and find the port, how to use netstat command and how to find the process id and kill it from the task manager. So we will go to the catalina.out file to find the port. So we could see the catalina.out file from the logs that is tomcat logs it will be in informatica home folder so we can edit the catalina.file here after the exception that is like already in use exception from uh, java we could see an error like cannot start node because of the following error service manager port or uh, node process port or whatever port is already in use so this port is the one which is already in use and we should find the process ids which is running in this port and we can kill the process so that uh, we can restart the service so we will go to the command line to run the netstat command so here in the command line we will run the netstat command that is netstat hyphen anu a pipeline find string and the port number here it is 6006 so we can see a list of uh, processes which is running in that and uh, the column names will be grepped because we are using a fine string command here so the first one is the TCP that is the protocol and the source, source IP in the port destination IP in the port and the state which the port is running and the process ID of the port so here 5180-8064 these are the two process which is running on these ports so by killing this process using task manager uh, we can restart the service so first we have to go to task manager and edit the task manager so that we will get the process id in the column list here we use start task manager in that we can go to view select columns there we can see several check boxes along with the column names here process identifier or process id is what we need here so check here and we can we'll get session ids and other columns so here for this process we need only process id so we'll go and we'll uh, find the process ids in this column it is 5180 yeah, that is what our process is 5180 and 8664 so these two java process which we have to kill using end process icon you can use end process and now we can go to this uh, services file and uh, restart the service from that now the process will be uh, automatically killed now from the services file we could see the informatica service which is in uh, start state now if we start the service uh, the service will come up with the admin console so so this is the netstat command which we have to use that is netstat hyphen anu find string and the port and the protocol ip port address destination ip port address and uh, the process id along with the state will be uh, printed so we have to find the process ids and edit the task manager click on the process id and kill the process thus we can restart the informatica service informatica like to hear from you please send your feedbacks uh, for uh, support videos at uh, informatica.com you can log into twitter uh, thank you for watching this video thank you